Welcome makers. Today we're making some lays perfect for your high school senior athletes. I'm making seven lays for the football seniors from my church. I thought it would be fun to make an artificial lay in their school colors so it can be used again for graduation. For these lays, I'm using the acetate ribbon that we've used in other videos for the base and my personal favorite material to work with, which is a vinyl fabric that looks like faux leather. I will link the materials I used in the description box and I also have some other videos coming up that will show some of the different designs you can make with the faux leather and are perfect for lays or Taolunga costumes. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any videos. The faux leather is the best artificial material I've found so far to use in place of faux and it's inexpensive. Because I'm trying to replicate faux, I only use the smooth leather and not pebbled leather. I buy this at Hobby Lobby or online and I will link some options in the description box. The cheapest way to purchase the faux leather is by the yard. The faux leather also comes in smaller rolls that are used to make hair bows and earrings. I don't recommend them because they're harder to cut and more expensive, but they come in a larger variety of colors so I do use them occasionally. The material I look for is called faux leather or vinyl fabric. At Hobby Lobby you can usually find red, black, and blue. Other colors can be found online. The vinyl fabric is $10 to $20 a yard and you need less than a quarter yard for a lay depending on the design of your lay. I use my Cricut machine to cut the pieces which saves a lot of time, but you can also cut the pieces by hand. If you're cutting your pieces by hand, I would recommend looking at pictures of fresh fall lays for inspiration on different shapes to hand cut your pieces. Let's get started with the base of the lay. I'm doing a salu salu style base using ribbon. I'm cutting my strips just over 16 inches. They're about 16 and a quarter inches. My finished lay is 34 inches long and I use 24 strips for each lay. I'm using this macrame cord which you can find at the craft store or on Amazon. You can also use lay twine or jute twine and do a three strand braid. I cut my cord to about 44 inches and burn the ends to prevent fraying. I'm creating folds in my ribbon to make it easier to create the loops. Each ribbon is 16 and a quarter inches long. I'm folding my ribbon at 8 and 3 quarter inches and 12 and a half inches. To make my loops, I'm folding the longer side of the ribbon to the pre-folded line and then the other side will be folded to that same pre-folded line. Our second fold is what forms the top loop. I'm going to fold my ribbon over the cord and clip it in place.
This is similar folding to the foul orchid lay that we did. The difference is I'm folding the ribbon with the ends going towards the inside because I'm going to sew the base of this lay. I did a lot of sewing when I did the Faune Lua costumes and it is faster especially when you're making several items. I'm making seven of these senior lays so using the macrame cord and sewing the ribbon to the cord will be the fastest method for me. But if you don't have a sewing machine you can definitely follow the same process and use hot glue instead of sewing. I used a zigzag stitch to sew the ribbons and cord. I'm going to add a little bit of greenery with this artificial tea leaf from hulaflowers.com. They come in a pack of 100 and I use 24 pieces per lay. I'm folding the leaves in half and clipping them to each ribbon. Using a zigzag stitch again, I'm sewing each leaf in place. For today's style, I am adding individual pieces like a kakala style kahoa, but at this stage you could add full size artificial flowers instead. Here's an example using the same steps of our base using fowl, the same artificial tea leaf, and artificial gardenia flowers. The last layer I'm going to sew on are my felt pieces. For this design, I'm doing semicircle pieces. For size reference, these pieces are about 3.5 inches across and two and a half inches down. After clipping them in place, I'm sewing them onto the base. Now I'm going to cut out petal shapes with my Cricut machine. I have cut my material into 12 by 12 pieces and chosen a petal shape to cut out. I buy petal SVGs from Etsy for about a dollar and then play around with the sizing. 
The petals are usually for making paper flowers. I am also using a strong grip mat and a roller to help my fabric stick to the mat. I'm not going into too much detail for this part because I feel like if you have a Cricut and are familiar with it, these steps will make sense to you. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them in the comments or do a follow-up video. For my first layer, I am hot gluing individual petals around my felt piece. The faux layer will have some type of material as a backing. Most commonly, it will be a felt-like material, or if you get the one from Hobby Lobby, it has a thin layer under it. Sometimes the layers of leather on leather will not adhere well with hot glue. I prefer to use E6000 or Gorilla Gel Glue. You only need a small amount, but it does take longer to dry, so in this video, I will be using hot glue. For the next layer, I'm going in with white petals that are the same shape and size as my first layer. I'm adding a semicircle in red and my finishing touch is this flower shape in white. Here are our finished lays for the football seniors. I think they turned out great and love that they can be reused for graduation or other special occasions.
Here is another set that I did for a football team. We did these without a base and for the head coach's lay, we added a fresh tea leaf base. With the faux leather, you can really do any shape and pattern and you can mix fresh elements onto the base or the individual pieces. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel.